So this is going to be a real quick tutorial on using Pixlr. For those of you who only have a Chromebook while we're out of school, this is going to be your best option. I tested this out yesterday and it's pretty awesome. Uh, here's the web URL up here. I did put a link to it in our notes on Google Classroom. I'm going to register or hit login. I've already registered, um, so I'm going to hit login. Use your Lake Park credentials. Uh, it'll be just easier and when Google Chrome on your Chromebook prompts you to save the password, save it. Uh, it's going to be so much easier for you to log in if it just remembers that password all the time. I'm going to hit log in and here is your dashboard. Um, you can create a new document and there's all different sizes. Uh, the two sizes that you're probably going to use are Ultra HD and Full HD. Um, the difference being Ultra HD is going to be something that's going to be printable. Uh, Full HD is going to be something that is um, probably going to run a little quicker. Um, I have not fully tested that out, but you'll just have to see. Uh, instead, I'm going to go to Open Image. I'm going to pick an image that's on my computer. When you hit Open Image on your Chromebook, it will show you your Google Drive. So my suggestion for right now while we're out of school is on your Google Drive, let me just open this real quick. I'm going to open it in Ultra HD, see what happens. Okay. Uh, on your Google Drive, my suggestion is to create a folder for all the images that you're doing while we're away. That's one place for you to put all of them. Uh, that way, when you're using this editor and you're editing them, you can, uh, you can quickly access that. So on the left are all of our little widgets. If I click on Adjust, I get all the sliders just like in Lightroom. Vibrance, saturation, temperature, tint. I can change the tint of it. I can change the hue. I can change saturation on this. Uh, vibrancy. I have the exposure, the brightness. I have contrast, black values, white values. I can go and really kind of tweak this any way that I want. I can tone it, uh, which is really nice. So I can pick a tone and I can tone this photograph if I want to tone it uh, to kind of give it different moods uh, depending on what I want. I actually kind of like that one. It was uh, kind of a filmic uh, 1970s kind of cross-processed look. So uh, play around with this. There's filters, there's effects. Um, you can go and just kind of throw an effect on here. Um, I can change the amount that that effect happens. All of these effects and all these things are stacking on top of the last one that I did. So I'm going to hit apply. Um, over on the right is a layers palette similar to Adobe Photoshop. So if you've had me for photo two, one of the things that we've done is that we have, uh, we've done, we just got through a project where we kind of layered on photos to create these dual exposure images. So if I wanted to do something like that in Pixlr, I could hit the plus button on layer and I could either create an empty layer, a text layer, or an image. If I click on image, it lets me pick something else that I want to use. So maybe I use uh, this. So I'm going to grab this photo. I'm going to drag it and enlarge it. And I can move it over if I want. And then I can go over here on this, on this um, layer. When I click on the layer, it gives me my blending modes and transparencies over here. So I can screen it. Uh, I can overlay it, darken or lighten. Um, I can change the transparency on it. That's really cool. I actually really like that a lot. Uh, I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to close this palette. Um, and I actually really like how that's interacting. Uh, when I'm done playing around with something, I hit save. And uh, I'm going to type in a name. I'm going to call it Merged Portrait Buffalo. Uh, I'm saving as a JPEG. Always save 100% quality. Uh, and then you'll hit this download button. Um, now I want to put this in the same folder that I just had it in. But again, when you do this on a Chromebook, it's going to take you to that 
Google Drive icon and you're going to want to save it to your Google Drive. So um, if you have any questions or problems with it, like translating to a Chromebook, um, I can I can easily help you just get, just message me on the on the Google Hangout and we'll we'll figure it out together. So that's it. That's um, that's as easy as that.